I'm going to reopen Steam. Maybe that would fix it. That fix it? That looks like it opened. There we go. Sim. There. Perfect. Great. Now it just needs to. There we go. Okay. I, I gave you. Give me the code. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. Ocean's Garden. Ocean's Garden. Do do do. do Inventory do, do, do. space is unlimited, is it? I haven't noticed. <laughs> Waiting for other players. Loading, loading. Hey. Okay, someone made a mess here. Oh, there's pumpkins. The cauldron is cauldroning on its own. Oh! I saw Haley for a second. So you gotta put it here. Gotta put it here. Ooh, it's a coconut. I oh, hate that this here. is standard depth for my screen. I don't know why yours does that. Okay, so this is a five. What fix if I do that? Oh. <gasps> Dark Sorry. mode! Okay. I got a dragon flower. Beehive pin, beehive pin. Fertilizer potion. No plants from seeds faster. To make a potion, you need to add to the cauldron in a specific order. Flower of any plant that attracts only bees. Flower of any plant that attracts only butterflies. Flower hour of a plant that attracts butterflies and bees. Okay, so these are our flowers. Mm -hmm. Where are bees and where are butterflies? Oh my gosh, the angry faces. The angry plant. Here are butterflies. Okay, great. And here are flowers. They do not like this one. This one's probably bees. I guessed correctly. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, there, there, there's that. They, they like both of those. So now we need to find the bees. Okay, so here's where the bees go. Oh, okay. So uh, there is. Um, okay, I, I need a pin, because I only have, uh, I only have three pins that I need. 
need to be one more. It looks like a brown stick. Stick? Uh-huh. Oh, I found another flower, fortunately. So maybe one will like reject. They like that one too. Do they not like this one? They don't like this one. Okay, so we need to figure out like which one of these two the bees like. Beehive pen. You found it? Yeah. So I think we're making this where, triangle shape that's on this, uh... The yellow shape? Yep. Oh, what, this goes down. This one? Look like that. Oh, maybe they had to be layered a certain way. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yes. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Magic lemon. Magic apples. Got it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so you might want to grab like some of the flowers to like test over here. Do we want the ones that the butterflies liked or just the other ones? Well, we will need to find one that butterflies and bees both like, but we might want to test which one of these two is just bees. If you have the paper still, it'll tell you, like, the order for stuff. Bees don't like this green one. Okay. No dragonflower for them. But they like that red one. Okay, so this is the bees only one. So then we need to figure out which one is butterfly only. Uh, starflower. Okay. And you should have the paper so it will tell you which order to put things in that. Make the potion, you need to add a specific flower of the plant that attracts only bees. That was the red one, wasn't it? Okay, so no matter. This one. Okay, so we want this. Only no, bees. Only butterflies. This was This body. Um, one of these? Both. Oh. One of these? And then this. Uh, 
your laser okay. first. The cauldron. Okay, sweet. So we want this one, this one, and this one. I mean, it's ice poison. <laughs> so, what are the potions for? That one? Don't know yet. What's the first one for? A size and fertilizer. A little neutral. Is that your spot? He's gonna be chilling. So, we need to probably use the fertilizer over here because there seems to be seeds in each of these and it'll give us numbers. For where? Oh, th these, these things. One seven five in a specific order. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, lowest first. So eight. And highest, which is five. Then seven one. For growing stuff, we he like carrot seed. Here to grow that. Is it here? Indicating that just to place it. Room. I had to open it first. <laughs> you had to open the packages first. How big do we need the key? It's a carrot key. Uh -huh. They need to go over here because of the bunny door. Duplicate Want it potion. plant? Ooh, thank you for the ladder. Oh, uh, do you still have that growth potion? Yes. Can you use that on this? Thank you, I need to go get a man drink down. <laughs> We're on fire, watch the cloud form, watch the fire disappear.
Yeah, uppies. Yeah, you got some uppies, Mandrake, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you're a happy boy. So cute. Well, it looks like he's missing his nose. Hey, you look like a grumpy mandrake. Visible files. Okay. Um. Oh no, you're the grumpy man, Drake. You're the pretty chill man, Drake. You are the M. Sh oh, I lagged. Oh my god. <sighs> this is why we are um, big a dildo fan. Our computer, so my computer can stop yelling at me with the smallest of things. Um, this aquatic plant equals M. Whatever that means. Okay, aquatic plant is M. The red aquatic, aquatic plant. There's more than one. A weekly bringing you a new potion every week. Just this week, learn how to battle magic fire. Ooh. Okay. Uh, fire, watch M. Bunch of waves. Infinity string. None of these. A whisper willow. Pearl petal. Full vine. Okay, so this is either whisper willow or her pedal. Probably Whisper Willow. Which one? Whatever one equals M. The red one. That's on the right. Yeah. These two, like this, balances it, so they're equal. Um, With the wave symbol. Oh, okay, so that one's Pearl Petal. This one or the purple one? The purple one. None of them give an equal match, so... No, try the pearl petal with it, and try to measure for, like, the... the... Yeah. Okay, so that one's self spine. Uh... So, we need to mix them in order of Whisper Willow, which is the red one. Pearl petal, which is the purple one. And a soul spine, which is that blue one. Oh, red, purple, blue. Red, purple, blue. Does it go in the mixing pot? Hold yep. On. Yep. Wait, no, we have more aquatic plants! Too late. It exploded. Okay. Yeah, it, I'm realizing if the M's are equal, one of those could have been Soulbind, and the other could have been Aether Cross. This one, the red one, went into an M by itself. <sighs> this is basically a deduction thing. All of them have an overlap somewhere. Your M's are equal. Hi! You're higher in that one. You're in that one, lower in that one. So that would make you... Higher in that one. Hi! Hi! M's are equal. Hi! Hi, ma'am. Hello. What is it? What is it? What is it? Attention. 
It's very much all attention. Okay. There's higher there. Their M is equal. So the M's have to be equal, which would be either these two or these two. But the upper is... Okay, so the yellow one is Soul Spine, and this uh, blue one is Aether Quest. So this one is Soul Spine, this one's Aether Quest. That's the blue one? The blue one, yeah, that blue one is Aether Quest, that's not the one that we want. So, what is against this? This is either gonna be, this blue one here is either gonna be Whisper Willow or Pearl Petal. Because it should even out when we get to the upper one here. I don't know what token I found again. Uh, the token that's connected to the thing. I did not see any one there. So, it's, if we turn it to this one, if it's equal still, it's not equal still. So this one, this blue one is pearl petal. Oops. No, go back there. I'm having fun measuring against you. Now, and if this is soul spine, and that's equal right there, might be whisper willow. That's what happens when we turn it again. No, we don't want this. So what that one is is that one is ocean thorn. Which means this one is the one that we want. That one's Whisper Willow. So Whisper Willow is this purple one, then Pearl Petal, which is that small blue one, and then Soul uh, Soul Bind, which is the yellow one. So this purple What's one. The order? Purple, this purple, blue, one? yellow. Purple, blue, yeah, yellow. I'm not gonna remember any of those names. <laughs> purple, blue, yellow. Rain You need to make it rain? On the fire. Art. You watch uh, the smoke. Most difficult puzzle ever. A weird looking compass thing. Oh, NC oh. detector? What'd she find? Where was the token that you found? Uh, oh, it was one side of the water. There's one oh. right here, too. I need a growth, I need, I need fertilizer. need to get bigger too. Nope. No? It's good? Yeah, it's fine. I yoinked it and took the token off. Oh. Token turnip. <laughs> anyway, poet I got a potency uh, compass thing. Oh, cool. Oh, also, uh, you want me to make the nose bigger? Oh, the nose. Okay. That's Rain's size. Stole it. Dead. Do we have to duplicate it? Probably. This. Oh, wait, we need equal oh. potency, don't we? Duplicate potion can be used on objects that make a heavy magical aura. Duplicates them once. One ingredient from each class is needed. Flowers, mushrooms, aquatic. The ingredient has to be the most potent one in its class. Do you know it's the most... Oh, does all of it align? 
together? Well, you, 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 possibly. Here, let's lay out, like, each flower so you can find the most potent of each of these. And there's that one. I'm assuming it's the purple. It goes to north. Okay, purple. Then shrooms, right? Oh, yeah, dimensions. It keeps on disappearing on me and needs to stop. I can't tell which one of these. Might need to separate them. I think it's this green mushroom here. What was the other one? Uh, the flowers, which are over here. Uh, the red flower? Assuming I'm reading this correctly, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I guess I read it correctly. <laughs> Sweet! Duplicating the nose! Okay, so I guess we can you shrink a nose? No, no. Yes. Nosey exit. Yeah, but what did it do? He's missing an ear. <gasps> You're both missing an ear. You guys need to locate the ears. Haven't we done? Um, I know that the lemon here and the apples had some charge. Good on time. Yeah. For the most part, this one has been more straightforward. Either that or I'm just more awake and I can actually help them. <laughs> Great, you've been doing a lot of the stuff this time around. Like, all I've done so far is I did the complicated measuring things against each other thing. You did the mandrakes. And the mandrakes. And the uh, mushrooms. Mandrake's so cute. I don't know what we're missing. I see, I see a radish here. What is freaking out? This is.
Is it mad because it's not the right color that it's white instead of like gold? Well, they're both be gold. And like, I don't think it cares in that regard. Fertilizes nose. It actually would have been funny if that's what he wanted. Um, Do you have any sea packets still? I put them on the ground. There is the hearty radish over here. I was like wondering if there'd be like a silly thing, like an ear of corn. I did not see that because I had a carrot, the carrot, the radish. And that's like it. That would have been funny though. And there we go. Okay. Oh, three apples equal one token. Do we have another apple? I got these two magic apples. I don't have one. Maybe we can grow one? Maybe. Wait, what potions do we have again? Size, rain, fertilizer. Hmm. make things explode. The apples came back. Oh, would a hearty radish count? Because it's hearty? I don't know. Okay, yep, that's why I was afraid of with these stupid things. What? Charge me. <laughs> I need to get headphones just for streaming. Hi, Haley. What's squeaky for? That didn't count, unfortunately. I, I'm sorry, I'm being yelled at right now. No, you're good. Are very cute. Oh, hmm. I I need this made bigger again. Can't do anything with it. Okay, that's as big as it gets. Okay, fine. Do I can reach still? On the ear. How did we duplicate again? Huh? How did we duplicate again? You have a duplicating potion. Alright. Okay. I have size, raid, and fertilizer. Oh, uh, do we have to duplicate? Make another duplicating potion? Yes. That's fine. Do you remember which ones they were? I think I got the right mushroom. The green one? I think. Yeah. I think it did in the wrong order.
There you go. Do do do. We did it. We did do it. Yep, five out of eight. Yeah. If I knew where the other apple was, we probably could have gotten another, but that's fine. That, I that's more than. see where another apple was. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. It's like, that's why I started to like look up, too. And then I saw the ear. Hmm. Oh, we got it done. Yeah! Next one? Yeah. They've been in Asian Tower. On the top of the world! <laughs> well, that's pretty. Oh. Oh no! Why am I in the banana room? I'm in- I'm in a red Oh no! We're separated! Okay, I did not even see a token up there. I see constellations, though, which I'm probably gonna have to tell you. Probably palm mystery ring... Uh, Fergus Grimm? Square, circle, hexagon, triangle. Oh no. Candles? I got a tarot card. Tarot card! In your box. Well, let me open up the candy box. Incredible! It seems that the elders have managed to crack the ancient spell of teleporting by enchanting those devices on the balcony. It seems they are powered by the gem inside it. With one gem, we can teleport items between the towers. But what if we find more gems? Could we possibly teleport something even bigger? We have to try. We need to find more gems. So, does this have a back? I got a palmistry little poster thing that has all the symbols on here, but also has like the lines for love, wealth, and life. Which I think we're supposed to get the hand to be in the right position for Fergus Grimm. Uh, let's see. Prudent with coin, he was better off than Argus Bell. However, he was not as rich as Dahlia Owler. His dabbling into dark magic has left him completely alone. His very long life, which surpassed a century, and his death were caused by dark magic. So long life, so probably max. Wealth? Not rich. But not super poor. Well, there's two slots in the middle, so I'm gonna say the lower end. Love means he was alone, so nothing. Yeah, so he, he was like, absolute end of love. So, I would need to palmistry on his fingers. I need to know where his ring is going to go. I don't know that one yet. I do know that he, each of these uh, have a circle with them. Uh -huh. And his is at three. Three? Out of how many? Twelve. So, he's at... Let's see. It's the symbol for um, the zodiacs, but I forget what they are off the top of my head. I know Aries, but I'm just like three. It like? If it's going from forward from the or order, it's the third one going towards the right. Otherwise, it's backwards. That's the only other thing I can think. Uh, of. It, it's uh, basically like a clock, so yeah. completely up as twelve, which is what Arthur Bell's is. Yeah, and then. One, two, three, so like the one that's completely on the right was Fergus Grimm. Okay, so then he should be this one. 
the third one. So, so completely up is 12, and you got one, two, three. Like a clock. This one. Pisces? Looks like that. It, it reminds me of like the like the the the, the like the, the symbol the fishes and stuff. <laughs> Gemini. I don't know. But okay. I think I have everything. I don't know. I didn't do anything. Uh -huh. Not yet. Oh, you know what? I might need to like see where everybody else's finances are to know because he was like, as... sure. Yeah. I think playing spells with Kai Asai, Laura Bailey, and Will. Accessory extremely well, thanks to whom. Where's your like, family business? So, he, uh, Fergus Grimm is second on wealth. Hmm. That one. And so, longest life? Longest life. Second on wealth. Love was none. Okay. I'm completely alone. That should be at the end. That's second. Oh no, no, he's uh, third on life. Ar Arthur Bell had uh, lived for two centuries. Oh. Okay, so third on life. Wait. So Arthur Bell was the longest? Yes. And he what? Fergus was third, so his is short? No, uh, his isn't short because it still surpassed a century. Well, but he's... It, the, the, the length doesn't really matter if he's supposed to be either in spot one, two, three, or four. It goes from left to right, so if the longest is all the way at the end at four. So he's at right af right before him, right? So like three? Yeah, he'd be three. And then... Was he... Th How poor? There we go. He said second poor, right? So... Yeah. Oh, now I got a sphere of symbols. Oh! Do you have numbers on them? Yes. Okay. I need a square. Uh, one? Hmm. Okay. Right. We'll go with one. Um, circle? Nine. Uh, there's two. I'll just There's nine and four and... Mm -hmm. Wait, like so you're, if you're going square, then circles, then it's probably four, two. Four, two? Okay, one sec. And then I need a hexagon. Uh, one. Okay, and triangle. Eight. Eight! <laughs> I can be smart sometimes. <laughs> you be smart a lot of the time. <laughs> I think I got some tarot. I also have a tarot. Mine has mountains. Mine has a forest. Fine keys are very annoying. Animal runes note. Outer ring equals legs. Number of rectangle is number of legs. And their symbol environment. Okay. Oh, do you have any, um... Crystal balls. Not that I'm seeing. Okay, I have crystal balls. Okay. Oh, I have more tarot. Can you pass me your tarot? Ooh, pupper. Wait, what? How do I pass through my tarot? 
Do you have a little teleporty pad? Is that what this is? I think so. I think you put it onto her. Yay! I got a cup with a pupper on. Ooh. I think it's for deciphering animal runes. Okay. But I don't see anything for animal runes. Four, one, seven, two, five. What's this? Oh. Four, one, seven, two, five. I'm gonna be really upset if more of them are over on my side for puzzles. Uh, I have puzzles over here, but I'm just trying to figure out what the heck it's for. I have a wand. I'm gonna give you the wand. Star pin? Whatever it is. this. Oh, that's for this. I don't know what it's for, but I'm gonna shove it in here. Oh, wait! I think you're supposed- you said that you see constellations, right? Yeah! Uh, I think the star pins are supposed to be for constellation. I got three stars. Okay. Um, two of them are connected. Okay, so you don't have all of them yet. No. Okay. Or keys for my door. This tower thing in the middle is for. Do you have a tower thing in the middle? Yeah. Oh, I I kind of have a tower thing in the middle too. It has like a little star on top of it. it. Has a whole bunch of uh puzzle things around it. Can you do anything with it? Mine? Yeah, I can. uh I mean, my, it has a whole bunch of locks onto it. That's what I've been putting things into. I might need to know where the locks are going, because I could have moved the towers up and down on my end. Oh, your tower is completely different from mine, then. Yeah. Because what I have in the middle, there is one locked tower with a chain that's, I think, something's supposed to connect to it. And then around it is three other towers with numbers. And they all have a different top, and I can slide them up and down. But then on the base, there is a bunch of different types of towers, and I'm supposed- I think I'm supposed to pick the correct one. No. That it's supposed to go to, but I don't have any information for any of that. Like, all my puzzles, I don't think I have information on my end. <laughs> I gave you, um... Other a star pin. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if this help. Oh, it won't let me send papers over. No. You have to right. read them to me, I think. Do you have anything that's for animal runes? Not yet. I have an unfinished note. Something for pendulums. Pendulums. Um, Could the pendulum be for me? It's a, it's a note on pendulums, but it's possible. All it says is pendulum divination going clockwise and forward. So, like, lines going up and down are ones and circles are fives. Maybe that's for this tower. I'm not sure. It might be. So, we have to decipher it probably. Probably. Because each of these towers have one through eight for their numbers. And there's three I can mess with. Is 
think I'm running out of stuff to mess with myself. Uh, am I able to do a constellation, maybe? Oh, I also have tea reading. I have a teacup. I have multiple teacups. But I don't know what to do with them. What's in the center of them? I have an octopus and a crow. Well, that's probably the ciphering animal rooms because there is uh, a ring. Uh, animal rooms will have like an outer ring, which equals the number of legs. The number of rectangles is uh, that's outside of the ring is the number of legs. And then the, there's some inner, inner symbols, which is their environment. So like air, earth and water. Uh, like, I have a pupper, so it would be a circle with four, um, oh. dashes on the outside, and since it lives on land, it'll be a square in the middle. Oh, the, what, what does the pattern on the teacup look like? Underneath it. Kind of like a flower. Is it like a spiky succulent flower, or like a, a daisy flower? So it has, like... The round pebbles on the out, uh, petals on the outside, but then like little triangles in between it, each petal. Okay, and you said, uh, how does the numbers work? The numbers work that there would be a circle, and on the outside would be like dashes, which is the number of legs, and then yep. the inner symbol will have either an upwards triangle, which for air, a square for earth, or a downwards triangle for water. Downwards triangle for water, upwards for. Thank you! Second, uh, this one is two legs, and you said up triangle is air. Yes. Party down. You need the teacup. That's what. Nope. 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 Because you described what it was to me, and now I understand. Cool. Oh, down triangle. I helped. I have a new thing for you. Well, I don't have anything else to do. So then, I probably need you to tell me star stuff then. Yeah. Oh, I have. Wait. Oh no, your stars. Ooh. I have my. I have one last puzzle here that is like uh, three shooting stars with turnable numbers. So anyway. Oh. I need some. Ow! Figure out how to help you. Yes, I need a constellation, I think. I, and I need to figure out what the heck this middle tower thing is for, and that's the only other puzzles I know. You have about. keys fly, flying around too. I may need to grab one. Doesn't exactly let me. I think I'm supposed to solve the towers for them. Those are the keys for the door. Get out. Fair. So what are the constellations on your end? So, um, when looking at your tower, to the upper left, it looks like a trident. So it has like five stars, one star connecting to the middle going upward, and then three stars being connected outward. Don't have a perfect middle, so I'm just gonna try to. Mm -hmm. I think as long as you have the points, it might count. So you said it kind of looks like a trident. Yep. I don't know. Is it at an angle or going up? It's going up. Are there more star wands I need to give you? I had the three, but... Oh! Oh! I'll need your help with that later. Hmm. I just thought my last puzzle is. Um, there are shooting stars going around my tower, but I don't know how many on either side, so I would need to know that. Hmm. Mm 
I don't think I got this right. Okay. I mean that that's just one of them. There's there's three more. Okay. Not three more. There's two more. Where are the other two? Um, there's one that looks like a sideways Y. It's also made up of five. It has like one, two, three. It looks like you start basically with like making a triangle without having a connecting line underneath it, and then it branches out in two directions. I understood none of that. <laughs> okay, you know how you're making a trident? Yeah. Take the center point of the trident, so the, the top or upper spine, and have it connect diagonally to the leftmost tine on the same level as the center point. Okay. Where does the rest go? Like I described, make the, uh, try it. I'm either doing something wrong or that wasn't it. It's one of the two. Okay, made the trident like before. However, you made it to like um, uh, mark it. If you were able to mark it before, I mean, you can always stare at my screen and see what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Why? Yeah, it feels like cheating. It's not cheating, though. Okay. Take the center time marker. Uh-huh. No, no, no. I, I looked, I looked. Time. The, the, the spiky bits at the end are called tines. Okay. And then have it uh, diagonal left down from the leftmost time. I can only grab it. <laughs> I'm just like... That is the center. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. The one above the center. Okay. I'm just like, can it here? Up. Nope. One over. Right there. <laughs> the right there was a little late. So yeah. <laughs> okay, take that one. Down one. Over to the left two. That is what it should be. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying that is what it should be. That is what it is showing me. Yeah, it only connects. It seems like it only connects what is directly next to, and um, but I don't know. This is showing me in the way that I described it because the other way is in a. Square tip this... diamond position with one right above it. Okay, and maybe so... not the one at one. So here's the other question though, because there's two types of stars here. There are the smaller ones, and then there's also the brighter ones. There's two brighter ones and three small ones. They all look the same on my end. Hmm. So it, it might matter. be that you have to figure out how to connect it in a way that will allow this. But that is the shape that it was telling me. Does this work? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it marked it. It did. Okay. I don't want to keep looking at your stream, so... 
Why? We're trying to solve the thing. <laughs> you, but, usually, uh, I'm the one who describes where something is supposed to be placed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, the one is a square, but tipped onto its corner with one star right above it. I got, like, none of that. What? <laughs> square, so you have four points really close to each other. But okay. it's tipped onto its side, so it's in a diamond position. Oh. <laughs> and then one star is up from the uppermost corner of the diamond. Here. That doesn't seem like it's bright enough to do the connection. I want that one. There. I got a teleporter star and a pendulum crystal. Right you have your crystal. Okay, it's not in my crystal. Hi. I only give you something. I will sit here and wait. It's actually the crystal. I think that's supposed to be your crystal. Hi. No. Okay. I just needed the bench. Five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Okay. Oh, wait, I get it. Okay, let me go this one. Two, three. No! Oh wait, how many did you say the circle was? Five? Five. So that's eight. That stays where it is. Or, no. One, two... Never mind, that's seven. Look like that one. Um, Got it. Oh, great. Please fall down. specific case. It might have to be specific case. Uh, there is one more puzzle, which are these guys. And I don't know if you saw them floating over here. Oh, you teleported. Can I teleport? Yeah. Yay! Welcome to my side. To confront the dragon. Why do you need to confront a dragon? Friendly. A weapon he needs. After the enemy is defeated, in the mountains from his castle, a new reign begins. I think we have to communicate, like, where those go. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yes. where's the city castle is? In the mountains from his castle, a new reign begins. Okay, so you see where he is right now? Yeah. Put the castle just a little bit to his right. Like here? Uh, south. Um, 
Little southwest. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Okay, and he needs to go like all the way to the west. <laughs> okay, a little bit more. And south. Perfect. Okay. Sword needs to go a bit northwest. North now. Yeah. It won't let me go up. I think I have to move the dragon first. Uh, maybe. Okay, so the dragon's in the way? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so dragon needs to go to the east. A little bit more to the east? Or- Oh, no! Okay, no, I see which way it's going. Okay, so no. Dragon goes to the west. And up. Can't go up yet. Can't I go up? It's supposed to go up slightly. It's just going left and right. I'm going over here. There we go. I had to stare at it. I don't know okay, why. A south. I don't know why, but it's like getting stuck. That's here. weird. All right, it's good. Okay. And the sword needs to go a bit east. That's west. There we go. We did it. It disappeared. Now he is a knight. How dare you steal the crown from the dragon? That's my crown. He stole the crown. How dare. He stole the crown. He is but the peasant. He is not deserving of this. <laughs> Stop writing quill. The unfinished note! Ah! I teleported again. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, right here. So, the unfinished note. Do it. Okay, so... Upper bright... Or upper key glows in the shadows. Here, here, we have a bouncy key, a repellent key, an ever bright key. Maybe an ever bright key? Do they have like a specific look? No, it, I dropped a note right here. Okay, so gro glows in the dark. Where is dark? We have a dark. Uh, the balcony over there on the other side is pretty dark. We're gonna use that. It's kind of like the best I got, though. Uh, I think I know which key. And I know which one repels. So that's the glowing that one, key. The glowing one? That round one is the glowing one. Okay. What was the other ones that we needed? The uh, bouncy one. What needs to bounce? Yeah, this one that I'm holding is the repel one. Okay. So it's these two so far. So we need uh, yeah, this one bounces. Well, it pushes something anyway. What was the other one? Uh, we need bouncy, and we need one that is ticklish. Wait. Oh, the star is ticklish. Okay, so it wiggles anytime something touches it. Yeah. Okay. So that one's ticklish. I just need bouncy then. Yeah. Oh, we still need it. This one. Yeah, that one giggles. Yeah. These three are good. This one, this one, and this one. We just need that That's one. That's about the. Oh, 
Boy, did that one bouncy bounce. Okay. So this one glows in the dark. Uh, the one... That is next. ticklish. Goes on to the left. Your palette is right. And then bouncy is down. Or did I swap these? I might have swapped these. <laughs> Yay! We did not find that many tokens in this one. We were more distracted trying to figure out how we are going to solve puzzles split up. <laughs> yeah. We still did good. Yeah. Okay, do you want to do the Among Us one, or do you want to stop? Mm, it's 3.30. Debating because I'm like, we finished magic, but I still have like an hour at least. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'll do for the last hour. We could do more puzzles, but I'm also my brain is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know if you're done, it's fine. But, 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 but I want to go to like 4 30. <laughs> I think it's just, uh, I want to continue playing games, but Brain's a little tired from stuff. Yeah, that's fair. I can take us into this one, then. It's free DLC. Yeah. It's the closest to Among Us that we're gonna play. Yeah. <sighs> Locator. Ori course. Snap system fail. Grab grab one of this these uh, levers. So you can pull them down at the same time. We did the reactor. That's the reactors type of thing. Thing. Uh, they dropped a log. Emergency manual. I found a key. Don Spaceship do. name. Scaled mini. Day. 345. Access card. Huh? An access card. All systems are functioning normally. No unusual spatial anomalies detected in our immediate vicinity. Security officer reports a disturbance in the crew quarters. Upon arrival, they discovered the body of a crewmate blue. Preliminary examination in the case foul play. The ship's medical team is called to the scene. No life signals. Sent emergency subspace signal for the investigative team. Waiting for arrival. Ooh, we're the investigative team. Woo! <laughs> Dip. Hmm. Dip. 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 Emergency. Storage, specimen room, cafeteria, map. What, what do we need to work with? I got a cipher key that's on the floor and it's for the cipher thing up here. So... Ooh. And then I just been grabbing stuff to see what we can do. No, you're good. I got an access card and two keys. I have another key here. Oh, you're supposed to use the keys for So this is angled. I found another key. And here, I think. No, okay. wait. This one doesn't count. E seven so zero here. Eight one nine. Here, here, here. Seven zero eight one nine. <laughs> or slog. No data. How to align the Ori? B C D A.
Use the code above on the cipher to gain the aura process. Use a cipher. Okay, you want B? Or B is three. Okay, so three, then it's C. It's C on the left, so... I see it says six and three, so it might yeah, be nine. Yeah, the, the left's no, it's... The number, there's check marks of which number I need. So it's C, the left number. Six. If it helps, B was nothing but three. So... so three, three, six. six. Next is D, and I need the bottom number. Three. And then A, and I need the top number. Two. Uh, misaligned, okay. all the way around and move those up by one. Spin, 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 spin. Got it. I did thing. Oops, I keep on pressing the wrong button. Oh no. With all this rain. What was that? I'm weak with all this rain. Oh, that's fair. The Ori, Ori systems online. We need to set the locator in core systems online. And then power and coolant. No, I, we, here's our locator system. Yeah. But I'm not sure how to work with it currently. I don't like, I understand the planet part, but it's. There are so many. Sabotage. Mass system sabotage. I pulled the lever! I don't know this is what we're supposed to do. I don't think so. Oh, I guess so. Oh, is this how we find out where we are? Okay. Oh, does it need to match the Ori system? Uh, I don't know. Sure, what it's looking for. I'm playing basically an extra sketch puzzle. Like you're grabbing the air 
You're like you're like thinking really, really, really hard to move those lines. <laughs> yeah. I am kind of thinking really hard to move these lines. Oh, you you fixed the sabotage. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's what the sabo was. So I'm guessing we're supposed to link locator with whatever I am, whatever is being seen in this wayfinder. I guess so. Basically, with like, we have three planets that are pretty close to each other. I guess just pick one and describe, and I can try to find it. There's no description that I can work with, though. There's a picture. Because all I have is three dots. There's a picture here. Yes, but that's that's just the planets that are nearby. You can play through all of them. It. I think we're supposed to like click one of the ca the, the planets. We're supposed to find because there's at, uh the de degrees things, and we're supposed to see if it matches the degree here. Yeah, maybe. Basically, and then like figure out like the numbers from there. Yeah. Um, we definitely need something that has like three planets like that. There's a lot of planets in here. Because then the bottom here has a degree. I can zoom in and out. And I can move up and down. Oh. Let's see. Not sure. There's definitely something to our 300 directly. Was that oh, one. we're supposed to enter the ID of the planets over right here. So at 300... Uh, the one that's directly at 300 looks like it has two rings to it. So this one? Planet ID 13123. Okay, I just... I had... Wrong ID. Okay. Oh, it could be this one. This one. And that one is... N992. That one's correct. Okay. You have, like, yes, 30 to 60? Yes. I might be able to get that one next. That one looks like a little gaseous planet with a uh, a tiny moon and a big moon. So just two moons? Just two moons. So it could be this one. So two, one, four, eight, two. One, two. Correct. Next one is like between 210 and 240. Okay, two ten two forty. Uh, that looks like just a singular planet, like a gas a planet, or there's a lot of clouds onto it. Doesn't have any r rings or anything. It's probably this one. So three eight zero six six three eight zero six. Yep, that's smart. Yay! <laughs> Let's see. Of course now. Yep. Of course is this. Oh, I think we're yeah, this. Oh. Captain's log, Skeld Mini Excursion 29872, planets visited 5. Departed from Mirror H quarters, traveled 4 light years at a bearing of 45 degrees to restricted. Traveled five light years at a bearing of redacted. Not in degrees to next destination. Traveled redacted light years at bearing of two to five degrees to next destination. Traveled four light years at a bearing of redacted degrees to next destination. Traveled ten light years at a bearing of 90 degrees to last destination. Okay, so I put measurements on. And they started with Mira HQ. So they went yep. four degrees to a planet. 45 degrees. 45, okay. So... 
this one? Four light years. Is what it says. Oops, that's not what I want. To select a planet. How do I do this? This way? Oh! Okay, and this, and like, this moves so well. Oh, okay, and a ring is like you have a two light year ring and a four light year ring. Yeah. Select planet. Okay. So from that planet from Mirror HQ. It says they travel five light years. They do not say the degrees to the next destination. If it's five light years, it might just be that one right there. To the left. This one. Okay. Okay. Um, then they travel the blank number of light years at 225 degrees to the next destination. That would have to be this one. Okay. It's three. Four light years, no degrees listed to the next destination. This one. Okay. Uh, then 10 light years at 90 degrees to last destination. 90? Yes. There isn't anything at 90. Uh, maybe, uh, the fourth planet is wrong and the fourth one should be the one that's, uh, to the lower side. So, read this one again. Okay, it's the, the third one. Traveled four light years at a bearing of no degrees given. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's that one. And mm. it's just gonna be a guess if it's... This one or the last one. It's a, a ten light years, so it might be the last one. Got it. Bet they're smart. Eh. <laughs> okay, so storage access is online. <laughs> we should be able to access the storage. Oh, the chair. It moves! Swipe key card, I have that. One swipe key card! You saw this here first, folks! She did it in one swipe! She did not <laughs> have to stay in there for five years. Uh, let's see. Power circuit beta. It eats both of us. Oh. I have no idea what the circuit's supposed to look like, so... Oh, do I just... Catch? Oh. I can only get like four of them lit at a time. 
gotten up to five. Three, four, five. I can't. Maybe it's just the four, five, or whatever. Hmm. Error 30 Alpha Circuit. How'd you do that? So, I looked at the ones that were activating and only clicked those ones. Those connectors. Oh, wait. So, like, the ones that are down? None of the ones that are down. The ones, the, like... Whatever ones you can't get to light up, they're not going to light up. So you ignore any connectors to those ones. Oh. That's just... We restored the power. Hey. See something? Say something. I want you among us at the nearest cafeteria. Someone's on cams. It's red. Someone's on cams. CM2 is the one dead. Oh no. Swipe. That card. must be blue. Okay. Day 367. Hmm? I got a little oh. robot friend. He's low on power. We charge. I apparently did it too fast. I done it too slow. It's now apparently my last chance. <laughs> You're not good at it. Oh. It's only squares. I did this time. <gasps> oh, he needs a battery. Specimen container. He's cute. Um, we have a plush of a dead crewmate. I'll go. I'll go drop it off with the other two. Test. Alien slug gen genealogy tree. Alien slugs mate in pairs. Offspring inherits random attributes from each parent. Eye shape, circle, blah, blah. Okay. So we're supposed to do the whole gene tree. Oh my gosh, even more. Supposed to figure out. I managed to decipher part of the alien slug family tree. Those capsules I've locked to the table. You have to work from this and add the other mission missing capsules. Test the genealogy tree with the lever on the back wall. Good luck, Captain. Um, 
Okay, so we need a red one over here. It's either going to be another red one with a square, or... It's, it, it says that it takes from both, right? Uh, it takes random attributes from both. Attributes from I both. think... I need a... this. Oh, wait, do you have a gr blue eye, little green guy? You do. That might be this one here. Pink eye, round eye... This one's green, so that doesn't go there. Pink eye, blue eye, this one. Ball cylinder. I think that goes there. Okay. So then this one needs yellow and a triangle. This one has a blue eye. Yellow triangle, but also needs a green eye. Yeah. I dropped a little guy. Here. Okay. That means the last one can be... This one will have to be green. I think. Oh. And it can be blue, it, 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 blue, yellow... That one doesn't work. You don't work. That's good. Stay. This one's gonna be here. So, let's see. Last one. I think I found it. Okay. There are three over here on this table. Let's test it. Ooh! Got it? <laughs> nice. We did good. Input code. Gene sequence. What's the code? Where does it tell us? Oh, is it 2533? That would make sense. Oh! No, because there's also letters. I think it's this gene code right here. At the lever. It? So it's 2R95TQ. Cool. I got a giant key. You want some peach milk? Eh. You, you, you want a sea sir coffee? Tempting. Top cargo view. Oh. And we got a cargo box. Up down here. Oh. Oh, we're supposed to try to fill this out based off the storage bait where this cargo box is, which was right here. I feel like I need some batteries. Yeah. I think we get that maybe from here, but I think we're supposed to fill this in. Oh. The cargo box was in this little square here. That's currently empty. Which I think that's where that little symbol is. Two, three. One, two. Are you sure it was in that square and not the one over here? I'm very sure it was from over here. Okay. <laughs> I think that probably should be over here then. Because, um... I think we need that anyway. That's why I took it out, but like... It was- it was here, in this spot. 
Oh. Yeah, that, the reason why I'm questioning is because it doesn't match up to over there with this. None of it really matches. It didn't let... You're supposed to mark what's empty and what's... Oh. Okay, I'm just removing all of these because... Is this supposed to be for like this end? Where what which side is the Can we change these? No. Oh. These are locked. Okay, um uh gr the 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 boxes are two. green. Yes. Okay. So two I'm seeing that's back to back. Empty is right here. And red goes there with the green at the end. Okay. And what we can see would be blue, 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 green. You see green there. Red, red, green. Are you seeing what I'm working with, at least? Uh, I understand how the puzzle works. I am, but this doesn't work with my brain, so I'm just gonna stick in this part. Okay. Is it because it's translating something 3D flat? Yeah, somewhat. That's right. Got it. Hey. And you have your cargo box code. It's 214. Is it a battery? Battery! Called it! Yay! The robot has... Battery. Okay, this is for the coolant. Ooh. Now, how do I do this? Are they supposed to go through all the dots? I think so. So, you're supposed to go... How do you do this? And it's like, turn three. So it does. He's in the middle, so. Yeah. Oh, wait. You can only tell it right?
this is the end. How's this work? Okay, I see. Okay, so we start from up here. You went all the way? I'm trying to figure out how this... Spinning and spinning and spinning. Up there. to spin that way. Up. Hey, name is Jitters. I think there's birdies outside. Come back? He does not come back. He lives there now. I find you him right now. Insert reactor key. Got it. <sighs> okay, what next? Good question. Let's see, we finished storage room. Got into the specimen room. Power systems are all online. Does that mean we're done? It feels like it, but we haven't gotten our dancey dance yet. <gasps> Cafeteria! There's a key on this tray. Pizza box is a key item. I found another key. Oh, key. It was in the pizza. Work together or don't, as if I care. Oh, I 
Everyone is now dead. They should have worked together. I don't think I want this pizza. I'm gonna go put blue with everybody else. Also, it said blue was the first one to die, but there, we have a little sketch from our specimen room. Yeah. That has blue with daggers. And calling so, an alert. Maybe he was the actual sus one, but. Yeah. You see, there, there, there's a little drawing here of a little bean with uh, knives with an egg on his head. And the egg on his head is blue. I mean, wouldn't technically he be the first one dead because that means an imposter actually stole, like, killed him yeah. and took his spot? Fair. Oh, there's a puzzle. Uh, here's the last key, by the way. Uh, let's see, 0, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, something, 64. And then something for... 16... 16. This is a number puzzle, nine, I'm not good at it. 4... So if that's 9 times 4... We know it starts with zero. Hehe! <laughs> <laughs> got the token. Hehe! <laughs> This one was 81. It was 9 times 3. Or 9 times 9. So... numbers times themselves, which means it's going to be 49. That's smart. Sometimes you're very smart. Our community puzzles. Yeah. We did finish a game today, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, now y'all don't get to hear from me until like I get back. <laughs> now <laughs> until Wednesday. Yeah. Woden's day. Woden's day. Ours still alive. I can probably read ours. Uh yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, Mars, because Mookie's playing Call of Duty, and that's enough. Uh. Oh, Mars. Mars is playing uh, Dead by Daylight. Um, Survivor. At the moment, I don't stream again until I come back on Wednesday. For the Donothon and my birthday, so yeah. 
<laughs> and remember, that stream starts two hours earlier than normal, which is 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight sta Daylight's time, which is GMT minus seven. Yeah. Figure out where you are in relation to the central universal time thing there, <laughs> and do the math. Yeah. And else, thank you guys for stopping by. I will see you next time.